Yes, it's very good to see you again. Uh, we're talking about the volume of a pyramid, and I've, I've sketched a pyramid here, um, which is a triangular based pyramid, eh? because the base is a triangle, and we have to calculate the volume, the capacity of this pyramid, okay? And in these questions nowadays, unfortunately, if you ask me, they give you the formula in the question, yeah? So they will tell you that, well, the volume of a pyramid can be found by volume is a third times base area times the height, okay? So that formula is given in the question. Yeah, but you still have to be able to work with it. Now, I really suggest to have a look at one of my other videos where I explain this formula because it's still good to know where it comes from because it's nothing to be scared of. Anyway, in this particular case, so the volume is a third times. Now, the base area. What is the base? It's a triangle, so I've got to find the area of that triangle. Yeah, and if this would have been a squared based pyramid, I'd find the area of its base then, which is a square. Yeah, or when it's a hexagonal based pyramid, I have to find the area of that hexagon yeah, uh, first. But in this case, it is a triangle, area of a triangle, base times height divided by 2, comma, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees. Look over there, that's your 90 degrees. You see that triangle there at the bottom, 90 degrees. So it is six times eight base times height divided by two, okay? Times, and the height is the perpendicular height. How high is your uh, triangle? So we're not talking about slant heights. Now that height needs to be perpendicular on your base. Oh, excuse me. And that in this case is this one, you know, which goes straight up. So times seven. Okay, so all I have to do really is to work it out. So where's the fun? Where's the fun? I really we should know these formulas. That's my opinion anyway. A third times, what is that? 48 divided by 2 times 7. So that is a third times 24 times 7. What is 24 divided by 3? That is 8 times 7, 56. You see that? Who needs a calculator? Who needs a calculator? 56. Now what is the unit? There aren't any units given, so I can now say units and its volume to the power of 3, yeah? because we have um, a length times a length times a length, yeah? so to the power of 3. The volume equals 56 units to the power of 3. There you go. The volume of a pyramid is base area times the height divided by three, or a third times the area of the base times the height, but that formula is given to you in the question. You just have to be able to work with it. Also inverse, yeah? so I can imagine by the way, that they give you the volume, and then you have to find the height. Make sure you're able to do that as well. Have fun.